So I want to talk about something called exposure therapy for social anxiety or social phobia, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, I have been diagnosed with social anxiety. In small groups of people, not so much. Like, just a couple people, I'm fine. Uh, but if there's a large group, I freak out. So, I, that's my situation. I hyperventilate, I cry, <laughs> I... My heart races, I hide, I hide in a corner like a little child. Uh, that's pretty much me. <laughs> Except that I've been getting a lot better since this, the beginning of the summer. And how did I do that is with something called exposure therapy. Uh, basically what I did was, okay, so I was afraid of going into this crowd where every week there was always a crowd, maybe about between 80 and 100 people, so yikes. And uh, I was afraid to go in, I was afraid to even go through the hallway where there was less people uh, to get there. It was just, I would, so instead what I would do, there was a small room off to the side where there didn't have to be anybody in it, except for me. So I would go in there, I would have my chair in the corner, I would barricade myself in with other chairs so that no one could touch me or get near me. And I would close the door, I would close the blinds, I was alone, I was freaking out in there, freaking out. Because even though I was alone in that room, I knew that right next to me there was nearly a hundred people. So for a while, a few months even, I would go in that room and I would sit there and freak out and try and just try. And with time, I got to be where I didn't have to have my barricade. Uh, a little later, people were allowed to touch me. I was, uh, I was able to go into the bathroom next door where there may have been two or three people. And uh, I could talk to them. I could look them in the eyes. <laughs> so that came with time. So with going and going and going and pushing myself, but not going to the point where I was right away in the audience. Because if I had gone right away in the audience, I would have done nothing but freak out and it wouldn't have been beneficial for me at all. So what I did was go about it slowly. And after a while, okay, I went into the hallway where there was less people and I would just like look into the room. And I would stand there and I could see the crowd, which was terrifying. <laughs> but I wouldn't be in the room. So for a while I was watching from there. And after, and then so that some people saw me and said, come on, come sit with us. You know, and I was like, you know. No, uh, but after a while, you know, they said, uh, maybe, you know, you could come sit here and, um, you know, we'll, we'll have you sit on the edge where it's not as bad. And I had gone in once for five minutes and I shook and um, panicked. I didn't cry, but I sh sat there and I really, I was literally shaking for five minutes and then I left. But even though I left after five minutes, I still did five minutes. So five minutes done, and then and the next time I would go in, but as long as people weren't standing, uh, so I would sit down, and I would go in, and I would go out with her, however I was able, and I would go and sit in that room and freak out, and then when I was calmer and thought, okay, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I go in there, I sit down, I pretty much ran in like a little chicken, so I would run in, get to my chair because it's terrifying, and sit there, and that's where I am now. I'm able to sit there as long as people are not standing around me. So if everyone's in their chair, um, not intimidatingly walking around, I'm able to sit at the very back and be there for most of the time. Um, so yay me. So that's how I did it. Exposure therapy. I didn't really even know, uh, I didn't follow any kind of guidelines, but I know that's what it's called. Um, so how about you guys? Is there some kind of a um, situation that you're terrified of? Maybe you have social anxiety. What, what is it that you're afraid to do? And what is it that you can do that would be incrementally, slowly to sort of just get yourself slowly into the situation instead of just blah, bang in it and freaking out? So. There's always going to be a level of freaking out, even if you go slowly, but how can you do it? You can write it in the comments if you want. What's your situation? What's the steps that you could take? And that's how you could go about it, because if I didn't face it, if I didn't go slowly face it, I would have just sat home thinking, I can't go, I can't go, I can't go, I can't go, and I would have always been in that mindset. And if I had always just stayed in that little room and not pushed myself to go to the bathroom and talk to people or, or to, to, to take out my, my row of chairs around me, if I hadn't have taken a step at a time, I would have always stayed stuck. But I didn't. So that's how I'm managing 
my social anxiety, which is not gone yet. It isn't, but uh, it's, it's significantly better.